I heard you state that your life is more at peace or better now than it ever has been. Is that what I heard? Yes. I'd like to um, talk with you about your, your life, if that's OK, like the prosecutor was asking you, OK? I'm going to yes. ask you questions. Yes, sir. Now, there was a time that you were very close friends with Jeffrey Williams. Is that true? Yes. And that happened since childhood, right? Yes. <clears throat> and you met him approximately when you were about 12 years of age. You remember that? In real good friends with him? I mean, in a long time, but I, okay. as far as I can remember, I knew him. You knew about him before that? Yes. All right. And you were born actually seven days ahead of Jeffrey Williams in the same month, same year. Is that true? Yes. Both born in August of, two, of 1991, right? Yes. <clears throat> and growing up as a child um, with Jeffrey, you know that he was raised in Jonesboro South projects. Is that true? Yes. And you were raised in the nearby projects, right? Yes. And you would spend time um, at Jeffrey's home at times growing up, right? Yes. Jonesboro South. Yes. And he'd be at your house too at times, right? Yes. <clears throat> And um, in Jeffrey's home, there would be lots of music. Is that fair to say? Yes. And we're not just talking, you, you made this known, it's not just rap music, it's all types of music, right? Yes, and Jeff I, all genres. And Jeffrey loved music, true? Yes. And you love music, right? I do. <clears throat> and on Sundays, if you remember being at Jeffrey's home, um, his mother would play gospel, is that true? <laughs> I don't think it was just Sunday, but we, she played gospel. Okay. And she also would read the Bible. Is that true? Yes. I stay in the And when you were so close with Jeffrey, you also became close with his family. Is that true? Certain people in his family. I think I was close with his, with his family first, and then me and him. And you called his mother Mama or Mama Duck. Is that true? Yes. And um, in your family, your mom had, has uh, five children. Is that fair to say? Yes. And each one of those children have a different father. Is yes. that true? And none of those five fathers were part of anybody's life. Is that true? That's not true. OK. How about your father? Was he ever part of your life? No, I don't know my father. OK. Um, and your mother was? Um, Disabled, is that fair to say? Yes. She couldn't walk? She still can't walk. <clears throat> okay. And she was never employed, never working, is that true? No. When did she work? No, I'm saying she never worked. <laughs> I misunderstood you. And you're the second of the five children, and you're the oldest man. Yes. True. And um, there were times when you were real young that it was looked upon you you that you had to pay family expenses is that true yes you paid your mother's car note yes and food for the family yes clothing for the family yes all the necessary items to try to keep lights on or etc is that true yes sir and you did that at a really young age 12 13 14 is that true yes and unfortunately sometimes the money didn't meet the expenses, and I heard you say earlier on direct examination, your family was, you used the term, I believe, put out. You remember saying that? Yes. To the jury? And put out means that the belongings were put on the street because you couldn't live in the house. Not just you, the family couldn't live in the house. Is that what you mean by put out? Yes, when they sit your stuff on the side. It, say it that again? When they sit your stuff outside in the front of the neighborhood. Okay. And, um... That's a rough way to grow up. Would you consider that true? I, I definitely don't want that for my kids. And by the age of like 10, 11, 12, you started to use marijuana. Is that right? Yes. And then it escalated, if that's a true word, but you did other drugs too. True? Yes. And it got to the point where drugs gave you a sense of belonging, like an escape. Is that true? Yes, but I don't escape, yeah. 
Now, Jeffrey was born in similar poverty. <coughs> Is that true? Similar, yeah. And um, there were times that you would sleep at Jeffrey's home on the floor with him, right? Yes. And he would do the same at your house, right? Yes. And because of economics, that that's, means financial money, mm -hmm. um, you and Jeffrey would exchange clothing? Yes, we have before. Because it would just give you some a different type of clothing to wear the yeah. next day. Is that true? Different look. And even though the clothing may be dirty, it was at least different <laughs> clothing than you wore the day before, right? Yes. All right. And it got to the point that you and Jeffrey got so close that if you were both hungry, but you had a dollar or two or three, you would actually buy food and split all that food with him. Is that true? Yes. And he did that for you, too? Hey, Tom, yeah. <clears throat> And the people in the area, some of the people were in the same type of financial problem as you and Jeffrey's family. Is that true? People yeah, didn't it have was money. other families, yeah. <clears throat> now, 